This is how to learn Flutter in 15 minutes. Let's start right now. First thing first, you have your folders. Inside the library folder, you have the main. You double click on this and you will have this page. If you start your application, you can see you can click on this button. This will start the application and it's a counter app. Or you can click on run and start debugging F5. Once you have this application, now what we'll do is we'll remove all the comments. So this, you can see it's comments. It's not code. You can remove this. We will also remove the bar on the side, so you can click Control B, and this will move the remove the side. We will remove the int, the increment counter. We don't care about this. We will start from scratch, all right? I remove the comments, and now I will just keep the scaffold, and I will remove all the things inside. So you should have something like this. Okay, I will remove the, the comments there also, and there also. Awesome. You have those two things. You can restart the application if you want. This will restart everything, or you can just refresh the screen. You can see right now, because we have removed pretty much everything, we only have a white screen. The scaffold is the, the skeleton of the application. Inside, you can have the app bar, and Flutter is widget over widget. It's very nested one inside the other. So you use a widget, inside you have an argument, and in the argument, separate with the two point, you have another widget. This one will be called the app bar widget. And if you don't have the pop-up like I do, like this, you can just click control space and it, you will see the pop-up. And you can click the arrow to have more information about each, each things. We will use the app bar. You can use the arrow to scroll down and we take the app bar. As I told you, Flutter is widget inside widget. And to add another widget inside one, you need an argument and then you use another widget. And all the widgets start with a capital letter. So it's very simple to know if it's an argument or a widget. Let's add another widget. And also, if I press enter, you will see my code is working, but it's not structure. If you want to structure it, you can right click and say format document or you can just press format document shift alt f. So if we control save, if we save the app, now we have an app bar. Uh, we can add a text inside the app bar. To do this, we will need to add an argument inside the widget. So we click inside control space to have all the argument available. And the one we will use is title. If you go over title, you will see this will tell you you need another widget inside. There is a widget called text and again, it's with a capital letter, the widgets. And the text, if you go over, you will see this take a string, which is a text value. You will just use the quotation mark. And then you will write, by example, I don't know, Flutter. You will save. And if you save, this will automatically trigger the hot reload, this thing. It will refresh the screen, in other words. Now, you have a little problem with the blue thing. If you go over, you will just see, you can click quick fix. And you have the error problem, prefer a const. This, this need to be a const value, so a constant. I will click on add a const, because if, again, I just go on, click on quick fix, add a const, and this will add automatically. Next thing with Flutter, if you have two brackets, one after the other, you add a comma, and then you use the command I show you, the format document, I will use shift al f, Boom, this will restructure your code perfectly. I will save and now we have the flutter in the app bar. Another thing I want to remove is the debug banner. This one will be located inside the material app widget. We go inside, I will press control space and write banner. This is the one. If you go over, you will see this ask a Boolean. A Boolean is a true or false value. I will write false, control save. Boom, we don't have the banner because the banner is disgusting. The next thing I want to show you is in the scaffold, as I tell you, is the skeleton. We have the app bar, which is the top, and we have the body. It's, it's an argument. Body. The body is all the middle of the app. And in this one, we will use a widget called the elevated button. And how do I know it's a widget? Well, if you go over body, you will see the body required a widget with a capital letter. So I will write elevated button. I press control space to have all the suggestions. I get the elevated button and the unpress argument will require a function. A function is simple. It's two bracket like this, one normal and one curly. First, we need a child. The child just mean we need another widget inside and we will use a text widget, which we have already used before. And this one inside, we need to put something, by example, add, and we can save. So we have a button right now that do nothing because we do nothing inside the function. 
I will put the const before the text to not have this. And we have two bracket. What we do? A comma and format document. In the onPress function, we will use something called print. This will print in the terminal anything we want. So this has been clicked. And uh, you can see when you use functions, at the end of the function, you need to put a semicolon like this. And now we have a problem. Print should not be called in production mode. We are not in production, but instead we can use debug print. It will do just the same, but we don't have the, the problem. I will format document, save. If it was something like that and I use format document, it will replace everything. Now, when we click on add, this will show inside the terminal, the debug print, this, is, this has been clicked. To show it, you can press uh, Control G and you can see inside the debug console, this has been clicked. If we just close everything and we redo it, you see it, this has been clicked. I will press again Control J and um, next thing I want to show you is how to add another widget one over the other. So we have one widget, but how do we add another one? That's pretty unfortunate because we have already one widget inside the body. For this, we will click on elevated button, right click and refactor. I will do it slowly, right click, refactor. You can press control shift air and you will wrap with a column. Okay. This is a column widget. It's still a widget, but the column will allow you to put multiple widget inside a list. So if you want, you can just copy paste the elevated button like this, format document, save, and you will have two buttons similar. But we don't want this right now. What we want is use another widget, call it the text field. The text field, uh, you can see because we are inside a list, we need to separate the list with comma. All right. Now we need also the const because this will be a constant. This will never change. Um, and inside we can add stuff like there is an argument called the controller. The controller will require if we go over a text editing controller. So let's create this variable. I will go on the top and just before the override, I will, I will write text editing controller. We will call this one a controller and this will be equal to a text editing controller, but we use the bracket by saying the bracket, this will define this information as a text editing controller. Now you can copy this and go paste it inside your controller. And you can see that this is, is not working because it's an invalid constant value. Now we use the controller, so it's not a constant anymore. Good. If we save, now we have a text place so we can write stuff inside. And um, actually what we can do, we have, yeah, we have enough time. Um, yeah, what we can do is when we click on add, this will add the text right under and delete this. We could do something like that. So I will add a text right under a text widget right after the comma, because it's inside a list and inside we will add, uh, just a test for, for now test. I will save and you have the test. So what we will do is we will create a variable. I don't know, just after this one. We will say this is a string and uh, data. We can call this one data or text or whatever. And this one will be when we start, hello. I will put the semicolon at the end. All right. Because when you are over, when you are before the override, you define variable, you need at the end of each variable to put a semicolon with Flutter. Okay. After this data, we can put it inside the text widget right there. And if you go over text, you can see that this is a string, which is the data is a string. I will save. And now you have hello. If you want to put this information inside hello instead, what we will do is when we press on the button, the add button, right after the debug print, what you could do is say the data is now equal to the controller, oops, controller, dot text. No. So the text of the controller, I will save. And now if I click add, this will, this is now the value that I is now this information, but we don't see it on the screen. The reason is because when we press the add, 
the screen is not refreshed. And we need to refresh the screen. How we do this? We, we call something the set state. And maybe you don't have it right now inside your, your possibility, like this. To have it, you will need to have the extension Awesome Flutter Snippet. I have this extension. You just enable this and you install this. You will have multiple chunks of code uh, super quick to do. So you will save a lot of time. I will go back inside the main. I will put the control B to remove this side. And I will write set state like this. I will put the data controller inside and I will format document. Now, if I restart the application, uh, this should remove, yeah, perfect. And we will say something random. And if we click on add, boom, we have the text. That's pretty cool. But now how do we change page if we want to have another page? So I will create another, another button. This one we will use a text button. Uh, actually, no, we will do it inside the app bar. I will create a Nikon button. So obviously you, you get it. You could have created a text button, but whatever. We will go inside the app bar and inside we will say the um, action, I think. Yeah, action. This is a list of multiple widget. If you go over widgets and we will add one widget, which is called the icon button. This one will have a num uh, a function, which is empty for now, and an icon. This take a widget. To create an icon, you will say icons, a bracket, and then a icon bracket. Inside, you put icons with the S, and you will say next, by example, or skip next, whatever. You can see all the icons if you click on this. You see this icon, all right? Um, can we do like right, maybe? Fork right, whatever. Whatever the icon, that's not a purpose. We have multiple bracket. I will put comma and format document. Save. Now we have the icon. I will put this as a const. And now we have two minutes, so we need to hurry up. Uh, if I click on this, I want to leave on the other page. So I will say navigator.ofcontext.push. And inside we will say uh, material route or material page route. And inside we will just put a simple scaffold with the bracket. I will put my comma like this and my semicolon. Perfect. Uh, this is now what is saying. Uh, type scaffold can be assigned to the type. Okay, perfect. The builder instead, it will, if you go over builder, you see it need a build context. So you will say this context and the arrow just like this. So this will create a scaffold. I will put this as a const and inside the scaffold, we will put a nav bar. So I will just copy the one we already have or actually not. I will say app bar, app bar like this, app bar widget like this. All right. I will format document. I will remove the const because it's not required anymore. If we save, if I click on this, this will bring us to a new page and we can just click this button to come back. And that's pretty much it. Last one I want to show you is uh, inside the material app, team data. You can change the color for orange, by example, and restart the application and everything will be team orange. If you want in the description, I will put a one hour tutorial like this. So you will learn a little bit more. And if you want to learn everything about Flutter, I have a full Flutter course available on fluttermap.com. I see you in the next one. Bye.